What's up everyone, this is Cybernight8610, and today we're going to open up two of these uh, Big and Collectibles Black Friday Yu-Gi-Oh! grab bags that you can get. Uh, yeah, these are still on sale right now, I know it's not Black Friday, it's actually Cyber Monday as I'm recording this, so I think you'll see it on the same day. Uh, yeah, I went ahead and actually gave myself sort of a couple of days to uh, have Thanksgiving and stuff, so uh, I know there was a lot of sales going on. I really didn't find any, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff as much. I know Big and Collectibles had some good sales, but other than that, I don't know if I picked up anything Yuki related for like Black Friday. I know I got like a new SD card. That's basically what I did. And my wife got a laptop. So, <laughs> and I got Christmas presents for people. I think that's basically what I did. But if you're looking for some Yu-Gi-Oh! sales, I believe these are still going on. Uh, they basically told me they were going to have these going for, I think he said, about a week. Uh, since Black Friday, so probably about next Friday or so, I guess, is when they'll go away, or whenever they run out is kind of what they're doing. So, yeah, we're going to open these up and uh, see what's in them. I mean, I, I'm going to assume it's some of the newer packs that are out and stuff. I mean, there's a lot of stuff for Yu-Gi-Oh! right now, and uh, we'll see if it's worth it or not. But yeah, they did send me these to open it up, so that is clear, and I do have a coupon code with them and all that, too. So, check them out. Links in the description. I always like being collectibles. I've worked with them for... A uh, few years now. I don't know. How long has it been? But a few years. <laughs> Was it like five years going on? I don't know. My my time has been all weird lately. One of those things where I keep, you know, I'm like, oh, that was last year. And you look it up, you're like, oh, that's five years ago. Oh, God. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of that kind of stuff lately. I don't know if you guys deal with that as much. And hope you guys all had a good Thanksgiving or just had a good weekend, I guess, if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving. You might not be in the U.S. So... As everything on that one. We have, uh, let's see, Ancient Guardians. I haven't seen this set in a little while. Tactical Masters. One of my favorites. I keep spending money on this one. Then Battles of Legend Crystal Revenge. We have two of Legendary Duelists uh, Duels from the Deep. Then, uh, let's see. Oh, one of each Big Ten. Okay, I was about to say they were both uh, 2021, but 2021 and 2022. And Mavens. Okay. I'd say this is a good assortment. I mean, I think that's fair to say. Let's just get to it. A lot of cards where you're... Or a lot of packs where you're guaranteed hollows, too, so. Sounds like a good thing to me. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty good. Harpy's Feather Duster. I like that artwork. Then, uh, Scott Striker Mobile, Mobilize Linkage. I can't say it. Theron Bull. Then, Shiranui Solitaire. And Sword Soul Strategist. So, pretty good. I mean, you can't go wrong with Mavens. I still think... Like, I'm thinking about doing some kind of, like, tier list or, like, the best products or whatever that came out this year, and I think Mavens is going to win, honestly. <laughs> like, seriously, that set is pretty dang good. I wish I could get a Pharaoh Rare. I still haven't done that, but just in terms of reprints and everything's cheap besides Pharaoh Rares, I like that set. I think it was, like, better than Battles of Legend, honestly. Let's see what else. Oh, there's a Dragoonity Knight for us. Guaranteed Hollows with this, obviously, too. Uh, Wind Witch Diamond Bell. Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill. Beast King Unleashed. Then we have uh, the Breaking Ruin God, which I, I like these cards for sure. Then start a Synchron and... Ah, oh, Greater Polymerization. Dang. I'm not going to get pro Pot of Prosperity. I need three of those dang things. I have not pulled one. Yeah, and I've opened up... I, I guess I technically have gotten a couple because when we did some, like, a, another case opening, but it was for other people. So, I didn't got one for myself, I should say. I didn't even have, I need three of them, and I don't have any of them, so. Uh, <laughs> I need to get more Mega Tins. I'm tempted to buy another case. Let me know if you guys like to see that or something. Maybe some kind of live stream thing, and, and for me, because I, I gotta put down those Prosperities. Okay, we have Infernoble Arms Drindle. Warning Points. Dogmatica Punishment, which is really good, especially in Labyrinth. I do like the Seeker Air one. And Emancipator Researcher and Virtual World uh, GG. Yeah, another Virtual World card, too. See, honestly, out of the Megatons, though, I think 2022 has been, like, one of our best ones. So I'm glad that's the easiest one to find right now because that's the one I recommend. Now let's see what Legendary Duelist. Let's get a Ghost Rare. This set didn't do too well, but I still like it. It has some fun cards in it, for sure. Bahamut Shark. Can't go wrong with that. Nothing else, unfortunately. Just some marine cests and stuff. But Bahamut Shark was a really good reprint. I feel like people, you know, like to hate on that set a lot. Whatever. It did have some good stuff. 
and make those cards. I've seen a lot of fun decks using those. I'm, I'm tempted to build something with them myself. We have Seventh Eternity. Anything else? No. Just rares on both. Oh, well. Now, Battles of Legend Crystal Revenge. I still haven't pulled a Starlight from this set either. So, hey, will this be our chance? One pack? That would be awesome. I have not had the luck yet. I, I want the Exodia pieces, of course. Of course, any Starlight would be, you know. Not like there's, I won't take a certain one, you know. <laughs> Rainbow Bridge. Heroic Call. Evil Twin Lilla. Ah, that's a pretty decent one. Tomb Terror. And then Heroic Seal of uh, Heavenly Spheres. Or Heretic Seal. I think I said Heroic. Now, Tactical Masters. Like I said, it's probably my favorite set of this year because it's the one I've spent the most money on. Of course, I have most of the collector traders actually, from this set. <laughs> Had good luck on that. Bear Blocker. Uh, Nazuki. Then Moonin. Runic Wings. So just super. Uh, let's see. Duelist Align. Anti-Spell Fragrance. Invader of Darkness. And Runic Allure. And then, last one is Ancient Guardians. We'll see, too, if the other grab bag is the exact same, so you guys know what to, you know, expect. If it's exactly the same every time or what. We're going to take Mega Polar, Offering Extinct Deity. Ooh, I, we might have some, right? I don't know. We'll see. Resulf Accord, Trade In, which I love that reprint. Ursa Tech, Quint Charge, uh, Viper's Rebirth, and... Ah, uh, Self Accord, Elegance. I forgot. This one... Had the hollow in the back. You know, Tactical Masters these days, basically, if you don't have the hollow, like, kind of at the beginning, you know you're getting something, like, uh, more than a super rare. So, that fooled me. I hadn't opened up this set in a little while. So, yeah. <laughs> there are some good, you know, like, cards in that, though. I mean, I would love the Collector Rare trade-in. That's, like, really good. Oh, come on. hate these plastic bags. There we go. Okay. Is the same stuff? Looks like it's so far. Okay, this time though we have Darkwing Blast and not Mega Ten ones. Okay, I think I'd rather get the Mega Ten stuff honestly, but I would say it's a pretty good value still, especially with Mavens and all that. So we'll see. Maybe we'll do better. We'll let that decide. Either way though, I would say this is a pretty good deal. It's kind of nice because it's a random pack opening. I mean, that's what this feels like. It feels like one of our old random pack opening videos. Kirishin's Dark Reef. Buzzsaw Shark. So I think the value is still good. Number C101. Double Fin Shark. XE Remora. Oh, there we go. Fish Sonar. That's actually, I think, kind of pricey in this set, if I remember correctly. I think it was like the only Mako card that's expensive. <laughs> or, you know, expensive for this set, I should say. But yeah, that's actually a really good card. So I'll take that in Citadel Well. There we go. I'll say, are we going to pull anything awesome, or? Again, I think I've seen, what is it, Ready for Duel? I forget their channel name. I, I watch all of their videos, but I forget their name, especially right now. But they made a deck, it's been about a month ago, using the Mako cards. They look like a lot of fun. I'm tempted just to copy them <laughs> and do that. If I make a video on it, though, I'll have to give them credit, for sure. Trade in. And Harmonia? Oh, God, we got Elegance. I was about to say, did I just get the same one? Yeah, I want to try out their build and use it in Master Duel. I think that's what they played it in, so. If I end up actually really liking it and want to build it for myself, I'll definitely give them credit if I take their exact build, obviously. <laughs> but it looks like a lot of fun. I enjoy their videos. Drone Lockbird, the name's kind of erased. Part of it. Okay. Pendulum Fusion. Okay, we have something. All right. Runic Slumber. Come on. Duelist Alliance and... I'll take it. Shinome the Valiant's Priestess. There we go. We got a waifu for us. Even uh, Backjack and one of our Labyrinths. So yeah, Valiant cards are kind of, eh. The new support coming out for them does look pretty good, though. So I am tempted to build them. Like, they get this new Pendulum Fusion that's in uh, Photon Hypernova, which I actually have next to me. The Japanese box, of course, not English. Um, it looks really awesome, so I'm tempted to build them. We'll, we'll see. Because everything for them, I think, is cheap. And I think I have everything, actually. <laughs> From opening that set so much, yeah. But you know what? I'll I'll take an ultra anytime. All right, we have number uh, ninety-three, Toby Kaiser. Another linkage, the beautiful princess. One of my favorites from this because I used the shark deck a lot. Then uh, we have Hayate and Chaos Hunter. 
Okay, now battle's a legend. Let's see. Give me that Starlight. I still say that'd be pretty epic. G Golem Crystal Heart, Token Collector, Odd Eyes Persona Dragon, that's ah, still decent. Gel Whirlwind, and then Sleeping Spirits. And now, two packs left. These are our Darkwing Blasts. So let's see what we get here. I feel like on the second one, I've had pretty good luck. So we'll see what happens. I've had okay luck with this set and getting Starlights. So I pulled the Reno Heart one twice or whatever. And Blackwing and Chinook Snow Blast, super rare. Oh, there's a little waifu <laughs> of this set. And last one. Can we end with a Starlight? I'm just going to ask. Or or should I say just at least something above a super? We'll see. In with a Starlight. You know what? Let's not be a coward. I'm no coward. I'll, <laughs> I'll go for the, the main prize. Give me the Labyrinth one as a Starlight. I want that one. And ah, another Blackwing. It is uh, Vada, the Emblem of Wandering. So yeah, unfortunately, I'm with anything too crazy. Again, I've used my luck on this set. I, I wish I would have recorded those videos. I opened up uh, four boxes in total two different times with my wife. I got a Starlight on one of them, the Tier Element, and then she did the other time the same one, like the $400 or $300. I forget. It's fluctuated. Yeah, I wish I would have recorded those box battles. That would have been awesome. But of course, when the camera's not going, that's, you know, that's when you get the Starlights. But, um... Yeah, I mean, these seem like pretty good packs, I would say. I mean, if you still have some money after Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and all that, I would say this is worth picking up. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and all that. I really would appreciate it. And again, check out Big Collectibles. They are awesome, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.